Okay, y'all. So, we are about to eat. Audrey. Okay, well, I'm going to show you what I got first. I have a four-piece chicken nugget. I have some Polynesian sauce. I have some um, chicken filet sauce. They sting you with their fries. Really, really is. And I have a power egg and Sprite with no ice. All right, show me what you got. Oh my God, I'm trying to do my highlights. I has a hot and spicy chicken sandwich with a small fry and a lemonade. No baby stuff. Y'all, we are literally, I've been at work all day. My dog been at the vet because he was sick, like super sick. Like scary. I didn't think he was going to make it sick. So... I've been at work. He's been to vet. And oh no, boy, baby, where's the Chick Fil A sauce? We don't play that. I just got tired of waiting, so I was like, I just let's go get some to eat. Let's go sit in that parking lot because I need to know what how my baby doing. All right? Cause these little hungry little eight dollar cereal. I'm talking about so yo, yeah, not get home. I'm finna eat me some uh fruity pebbles and that's mama cereal. Cereal was gone. Oh, I believe that cereal was gone. I, I, I ain't been eating uh, none of the food that you bought for a while. Came back to the, and the food wasn't even up. I ain't, it ain't nothing for me to eat. I ate it. It's gone. So, right when we was pulling up to this pet smart, they called us. Hold on. They can't see you. They called us. That was a good thing. And said, hey, he's getting ready to come off his fluids at 5 o'clock. Um, y'all can come in at around 5 15 to get them. Like, what well, the funny thing is, we already in your parking lot. We're meeting him at the door, literally. So, that's what we're doing. So, not him. Mmm. It's crazy because I got a little dog. Cause, Cause all together, this dog is costing me five hundred and some dollars. At first, it was nine hundred, but they said he that they didn't think he needed the X rays. Cause like every time they called me, it seemed like the price went up on the dog. Mind you, I just bought him doggy insurance, so he has doggy insurance. But it doesn't kick in until January the 6th. So he has his um, <laughs> wellness insurance, which is separate from his like illnesses and stuff. But it covers like his wellness um, thing covers certain things, but it doesn't cover like illnesses like this and like all the blood work and stuff he had to get done. <laughs> so we got his um, puppy insurance. We got his puppy insurance goes into effect January 6th. His well stuff covered a couple of things, but not everything. So that was good. And now we're just waiting. And they made they gave him an injection to stop him from throwing up. They gave him an antibiotic. They gave him a um uh anti-diarrhea medicine. And they gave him, they said I have to get this special food that he need to eat till his stomach clears up for a couple of weeks. Now. A couple of weeks? Yeah. So the gag is, although this stuff is costing me like 500 and some dollars, if he would have had the insurance, I probably wouldn't have paid nothing but a hundred. And they would have reimbursed me for the rest. That's why it's important to have this puppy insurance. I never understood why people said they had to have insurance for their dogs. Now, no. You don't even show them. Same yeah. as you need insurance for a person. These dogs like kids. Oh, her tight is pretty look. They just, uh, I like the way they design. I'm so tired of seeing army print. I didn't see about five, six people. Grandma got a red shirt and army print pants. Did you say grandma? Yeah. I've been seeing people, oh, grandma's army, they army, like, Army print pants and red shirts, like is that the, the, the granny style or something? Mm -hmm. Oh, they got my chick. I got a free chicken fillet sandwich. I got a free chicken fillet sandwich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wipe that off. Wipe that off. Yeah, we're gonna use that. I'm gonna take that survey today. 
saying? Oh Lord, I'm gonna do a clean my car up. So they can stop dripping. Hmm. My little sauce is dripping. Uh, this thing smack. Yeah. I'm probably ready to see my baby. Mm. Since her husband now, she don't want to allow to watch him. So, sorry friends. Maybe a couple of Saturdays that I'm just not at home. I mean, I'm not going nowhere. Or I'm going to have to wait till she get off. Or I'm going to have to do it on day. She don't make plans because look here. That boy can't never watch my dog again. Because I swear to God, he either let my dog get into some or he fed my dog some. And I have been miserable. When I say I have been miserable, I was crying at work. I have been miserable all day. Because I really thought I was going to lose my dog. And then, like, I've been up since, like, 2 this morning. Because he wouldn't stop throwing up. And he wouldn't stop using the bathroom. So, if you got a dog, it's your responsibility to clean your bathroom. So, I got up. I cleaned up after him. Got him together. And it was so sad because we've trained him to sleep in his own bed now. Because it was like, you're not a baby no more. You, Even though he's a puppy, it's like, you're not a baby no more. You're getting to be a big boy. So, you got to start sleeping in your bed. <laughs> so, we trained him to start sleeping in his bed. But, it's like, he was so sick. You just wanted to put him in the bed with you. Right, because he just wanted to cuddle. He, he just wanted to himself. cuddle. So tonight, since he didn't get the cuddle because he wasn't feeling good, and I didn't want him throwing up because he threw up in the bed once, and that's what didn't allow me to let him back in on the bed. But tonight, I think I'm going to let him get in the bed. I'm going to let him just lay with me for a little while, but he's still going to sleep in his bed, but I'm going to let him lay up there for a little while and be a big baby. Right, because I was feeling bad. I did not want to put that dog on the floor. Because he looks so helpless. Girl, I start to put him on my bed. You know I love you. If I put you on my bed, dog, you already threw up on my bed. I'm going to put your poopy behind on my bed. All right. The boys down too much care for Tokyo. But us, we love Tokyo. Like, that's our baby. He's my dog, but that's our baby. Um, Right, because I sometimes I don't be want to take care of this dog because I be trying to sleep. My sleep always get interrupted. I don't never get to sleep fully. And I always get interrupted. And guess who we be? Tokyo. Yeah, the dog crying. I, I, I got to watch you. Zach ain't watching you know, him. He hungry. He, he want to get in the bed. He get off the bed. He want to get back in. He get off. He want to get back in. No, Tokyo. Um, I told him from my own, we can't let him run. Because if he go into court in the red room, it's Fungus City. Came that around the highway and I'm telling what he'll get into. So it gotta either be my room or her room. Period. There is no in between. And if we go downstairs, we have to really watch him and make sure he don't get into nothing. Somebody said she fell off the lace off of the neck. They should have got slapped. Hard. Punched him in their face for saying that. What's wrong with you? In they ill. What's wrong with you? I can do without their fries, but you can mm -hmm. never do without their sauce. If you say you don't like their sauce, you're a liar. Right? You say you don't like Chick-fil-A, just say you're broken. You're like, you know, <laughs> McDonald's eating person. Mm -hmm. I ain't even wrong with McDonald's. That's the stuff. You hit. Don't, don't. Because the double cheese burgers and fries will do me right sometimes. Nah, mm -hmm. I, them nuggets mm, for fries. And I hate McDonald's. I love them. But... Sometimes I crave their cheeseburgers and I go on a cheeseburger binge. Cheeseburger and a uh, large fry binge. And that's all I eat for a week. Boy, McDonald's be so good to me, boy. Them nuggets, man. And then I won't eat it no more for about a year. That frappe? That frappe's. Oh, they frappe's. Right, when you, you got something to do it right. Sometimes that be watery. You know They'll tell them extra ice so they can blend it so it can actually feel like a. Because if not, it, it feel like watery. All right. You drink your favorite water. Yep. People are talking can I have one of your ice drinks? I'm thinking he talking about the water last night. 
He told me, I say, so I say, yeah, just make sure you put another one in there. Her hair is pretty. He say, nah, I'm talking about your. That's the lock, the ones on the game. I don't want a fuzzy like that. He told me, nah, your ice strength. I said, oh, hell no. Nah. You wouldn't want me shooting in the gym. Bro, get that peach. I don't want no orange juice. Okay, that's the problem. That ain't orange juice. Mm, mm, mm. I had to get my own refrigerator because I have men and boys that don't care that it's my stuff. They'll still go in the refrigerator and eat it. So now I have my own personal refrigerator. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all been talking about for 10 minutes. I'm ready to go get my phone. I, it's different when he at the house because I know I'm coming home to him. And I know they're not going to mistreat him. But it's my child. It's my little cupcake. He's a little poopy boy. Yeah. Who do you look like? Mm -mm. Mm -mm, look. What are they supposed to look like? Hold on, you want to see? Ah, I'm drinking too hard on They're looking like, uh, Kiana Mama for a second. Mm -hmm. But I forgot she got bigger. I mean, uh, What well, she doing over here? <laughs> that would have been the question. All right, like, who they talking about? My husband, baby mama. And I know some of y'all been asking where Keanu is. She's with her mother. Because sometimes you just don't have time for the fuck. Great. Um, what else? Well, Keanu got a woman coming to herself, but her mama's getting in the head. Mm-hmm. You know, of course a child gonna always ride with a mama. Especially a daughter. Even I don't even care if you're a daughter. Even if you're a son, you're gonna probably nine times ten ride with your with your parent. But at some point, you gotta know that there's a lie in between. Right. And you gotta decide for yourself that you wanna see what this person is all about for yourself. Like her her dad. Because he wasn't Mentally capable of taking care of my daughter, I waited till she could form the decision on whether she wanted a relationship with her dad. With no, hold on, not daddy, her father, because there's a difference. And you know, she's at age now where she can say what she don't want, what she do want, if she want to fool with you, if she don't want to fool with you, she can make that choice. But until she was able to make that choice, I had to be that parent that said, I'm going to protect my child. And I unfortunately, mean. I had to protect my child from him. Like, you can't be t thinking you're going to take my child off somewhere. You, 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 you still banging in these streets. Or call yourself banging. Um, he said he don't know where his son get that from. Him. <laughs> him. Because he swore he was a swabber now. He was a blood. Him, you, nigga, you. So, you know, and then he got a lot going on. Although I try to teach her not to judge people by what you see on the outside, I raise my children and hold my children to a different standard and to a different light. So I don't want my daughter around somebody that done, they got multiple, multiple cases. You been in jail too many times. But now she is able to make the decision that she go right from wrong, so she's not gonna let you put that's the crazy thing. I already, I already got friends like that that be doing stuff they probably shouldn't do, of course. Being the friend that I promise I ain't pee on myself, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I promise, <laughs> I promise I did not pee on myself. Oh, are you sure? <laughs> oh, I don't know what this is. Mm -hmm. sure like that much though. Mm -hmm. Um, after I was been the type of child, she not 
I think I broke her out of that line. I don't think she lied to me once or twice, and it was hell on earth for her. Mm. That was on some sneaky stuff. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Strict, strict parents be having sneaky kids, boy. That y'all be understanding that y'all raised some sneaky kids being on strict parents. So once she realized that I'm really a chill, cool parent, just don't lie to me. Our relationship is it, it's good. Like people be thinking like we crazy because she not gonna lie to me about nothing. Right, she, I don't be fat. Like, what's the energy? She's gonna tell me anything and everything, even if it's gonna upset me, even if it's gonna hurt my feelings, whatever it is, she's gonna tell me. So, like, one day her daddy was like, I'm gonna give you some money, but don't tell your mama. You don't ever tell my daughter not to hide anything from me. We don't got that type of relationship that would get you blocked, banned, and deleted. Telling my daughter to hide something from me. I don't care what it is. Don't ever. We don't hide anything from each other. Like, she probably know more of my business than my husband. I don't lie to my kids. I don't sugarcoat to my kids. And my kids know what I'm lying anyway. Right. Because you be saying, bro, what are you talking about? Like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> so, I can't even lie to my kids on some, on some real stuff. Because they, they know. But... They know one thing I hate is a liar. Don't lie to me. We can get through anything. We can talk about anything. If you don't lie to me. Right? That didn't grow on me. I don't like lies either. Because it's like, what is you lying for? Didn't people just be lying for stupid stuff like? Mm-hmm. Who oh, Jesus? So, I don't have time for that. Uh, people couldn't understand how my 16-year-old son, well, he's 23 now. By the time he was 16 years old. People couldn't understand that. I knew he was having sex and I wasn't mad. First of all, how would I have felt if he wouldn't have told me? Mm -hmm. At least with him telling me. How would you feel if he was, you know, he didn't, you, like, you want him to come to you if, if he didn't did some dumb stuff? Or, and then you, you have to you have to teach your kids, like, to how to use protection. You exactly. I'd rather him come to me so I can protect him. And he can protect himself. And then we ain't got no babies running through here. I'm all like, my mom, Ooh, my mama, oh, my mama old school. Ooh. So she was like, so you know he's having sex? I'm like, yeah, he came and told me. Mm -hmm. Like, he better tell me so I can do what I need to do to protect him. Like, ain't no babies coming through her. So, that's always the type of relationship I've had with my kids. You, you would have been trapped and everything. Somebody with a baby trap. Do I want my son having sex? Who don't know. Who wants their kid having sex at a mm -hmm. young age? I don't condone it. But I'm a realist. And I realize stuff will happen whether you condone it or not. So you got to figure out a, a way to go to either go through the situation, try to talk some sense into them, Whoa. or figure out their rationalization of thinking. It looks like I peed myself. They do. Why did it have to be out of all spots? Why did mm -hmm. it have to be right here? And that's what I've always done with my kids. And that's why I had the type of relationship I have with my kids. People sometimes look at Audrey and be like, she's, she has a mouth on her. She's rude. She don't have a mouth on her. Okay, well, I'm lying. She do got a mouth on her. But she's not rude. We have taught her to speak her mind. Say what you mean, mean what you say. Now, sometimes she, she go a little too far with it, and I be about to knock her out. Dang, this, this, this wetness making me uncomfortable. I but, like that. I'd rather know what's on her mind than her to feel like she got to hide her feelings and hide who she is. Now, sometimes her delivery be wrong. And I be about to cut her. I done walked up on her a couple of times because she got me messed up. But I'm teaching her that it's okay to be blunt with me, but it's a way to talk to me with your bluntness. You, it's, you still have to remain, you still have to have a level of respect because I am your mother. And she get that. You know, sometimes she, if she angry, she angry, and you gotta talk her down. And you gotta recognize that she's angry. But other than that, all my kids like that. All my kids blunt. The only one that's probably not as blunt is Corey. Right? He just be he'll just let that stuff sit there. He won't say nothing at all. Like, he won't say nothing. He real timid. And he's more of... Uh, like, I ain't gonna lie, but when you make him mad, I'm like, Jaquari, mm -hmm. he's rare, really rare Jaquari gets angry. Mm -hmm. You make him mad, then he gets mad. He's ang he's really mad. Yeah. But it take a lot 
for him to get married right. because he's so trusted and he loved people and he loved to do for people he loved to take care of people he just loved people that's just who he is so yeah we gotta go we gotta get our baby no, my pants come on you bad this. mother do your pants with girl who gonna, who gonna pop? Who gonna say you peed on yourself? <laughs> who? I ain't gonna lie, I probably gonna laugh somebody say that, bro. Mom, stop. Look, she pee pee. <laughs> stop playing with me as well. I've looked at little kids say, Gone out, little kid. Gone out. I ain't gonna lie, I probably gonna laugh, bro. Cause what the heck? I might look at that little kid and say, She did, didn't she? Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? I'm just saying. Alright, y'all, we finna go in here and go finally get our baby. Hopefully y'all will see him when we come back. I don't know, but I'm gonna get my child. We'll be back.